Um, hi everyone, uh, welcome to our webinar, uh, the info session for Carlson School's brand new um, minor, uh, Business of Healthcare minor for the undergraduate study, uh, students. Um, my name is uh, Punar Karajamandic, I'm a professor at the Carlson School of Management in the Finance Department. A little bit of a background about myself, I am a, I'm an economist by training. Um, but all my work, uh, teaching and research um, is on healthcare market. So I am a health economist and never before in my life, my two disciplines and two different passions, the economy and healthcare had really come together in, in such a disrupted manner where uh, they're like, I think if I were to think about my work today, I'm always thinking about, of course, the healthcare market, the, uh, the, the, the pressures on the system of uh, what we're going through with COVID-19 pandemic, and at the same time, the implications for our economy overall. Um, so I hope we'll have a chance to meet in person with those of you whom I haven't met, and I can tell you more about my work, uh, my daily life. But right now, I really want to take this opportunity to uh, share the good news that we have this brand new minor and we are very excited about. In, in all situations, there are always good news to share. And so I'm really happy to be here on this webinar. And accompanying me is um, uh, Brooke Wigert, who is an undergraduate student at Carlson School of Management. And, and, and Brooke is the leader of a brand new uh, undergraduate uh, student group that we have. So she'll share a little bit about her experience and their work and, and what they're thinking of going forward. And I also have uh, Nate Gomol, who is an MBA student at Carlson School of Management. And Nate is the new president of our Millie Student Association, Melissa, and, and Nate will say a little bit too. And I thank Kim here, Kim Choi, who is the Millie, who's Millie's program administrator for setting this up for us and, and working with me so hard in, uh, in making this um, minor real together with a lot of other people. So I'll say a little bit more about Millie, uh, Medical Industry Leadership Institute, uh, which is a center at the Carlson School of Management that sits in the finance department. And Millie's passion and mission is to shape the future of the medical industry uh, and drive innovation in this industry uh, through our leadership education, as well as our research and market development. Um, and when we think about medical industry, and when, I, when you hear me say medical industry, we're thinking about it very broadly, inclusive of uh, the, the providers, the, the medical technology firms, the supply chain, uh, payers, healthcare payers, information technology, medical industry is this the giant uh, big industry that's really interconnected with each other. So about Millie, as I mentioned, we're a center in the finance department. Um, and, 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 and we establish and execute our mission uh, through our timely and relevant courses. We have uh, a suite of courses, very exciting courses at the graduate level. Uh, we have a lot of activities through lectures, conferences, forums, webinars that have student and faculty engagement all together. Uh, we have a group of executives and residents who are um, highly accomplished executives who are very much student turned and volunteering their time to help both the program and students get careers in the industry. We have an external advisory board, uh, which is our national industry council that represent key firms uh, in the area as well as nationally. That gives us a lot of advice in our programming, um, both in terms of courses and, and other engagement activities. We have a very strong alumni community, as well as a student board at the graduate level and now at the undergraduate level. Um, we offer trips and experiential learning opportunities to students and lots of networking opportunities and events as well. Um, in terms of Miller resources, as I mentioned, uh, big community, big community, both at the academic and the industry and the student alumni uh, faces in all directions. Our Millie affiliates, as I mentioned, are alumni who have graduated from Carlson or other MBA uh, granting institutions. I'm um, actually not just MBA, uh, graduate programs where they're currently working at professionals in the medical industry. There, we have 525 Millie affiliates who are 
extremely supportive of our, pro of our program and they work with our students, they work with the program and they give a lot of advice and mentoring opportunities um, for, for our community. Um, networking events um, and, and other community involvement. Uh, Millie U, the Millie Undergraduate Organization that Brooke will talk about, and Millie Millie Student Association that Nate will talk about. In terms of our uh, business of healthcare minor, um, you know, we, we've been working on this for several years now, and we, we heard this was a need, and, and we did our research and understanding what the need was and, and how can we contribute as the Carlson School. Um, and this is a degree that is available to degree-seeking students admitted to Carlson School. And, and really we designed it in a way that it provides an opportunity for um, students who are already specializing in their own functional areas at Carlson, but that they want to gain skills and knowledge of the medical industry, which um, as I'm sure a lot of you know, this is a very complex industry, um, again, with a lot of different private public partnerships, government involvement, regulation, as well as markets. And so uh, the idea with the minor is that the students early on in their uh, careers at Carlson will be exposed to these courses and how the healthcare marketplace works, uh, what are the institutions, uh, what kind of regulations uh, are we looking at on the payment side, on the regulatory side? Um, reimbursement, as you know, as a third party reimbursement is a huge part of this industry and how that works and, and what are the parties involved with the reimbursement side. Uh, medical technology, huge levels of innovation, as you know, in the US, uh, both on device, pharmaceuticals and other medical technologies as well as, of course, the importance of data and healthcare analytics. And, you know, data in healthcare is fairly different than data in other sectors. So building an appreciation on how the different types of healthcare data and awareness around different types of healthcare data and how to work with it. And, and we really believe that knowledge of these markets and the business of healthcare through this knowledge around institutions, regulation, re reimbursement, the customers, and, uh, and analytics uh, is, a, is a strong complement to the disciplinary training of the Carlson undergraduate majors. Um, sorry, I forgot to say, if you have questions throughout this presentation, please use the chat box or the Q&A, which we will monitor at the end of our presentation, and we'll try to answer as many questions as we can. Um, and, and, and we will run this minor through the finance department and Millie uh, and complementing with Millie's resources and programming to support our cross and undergraduate students. As I mentioned, we already have an established network of alumni and graduate students and a lot of other faculty relationships across different disciplines at the university and ex as well as experiential learning opportunities. So we, we're, our hope and goal is to leverage our existing uh, established uh, relationships to help support this minor. And, and needless to say, we developed this minor uh, in collaboration with many industry experts, recruiters, and with feedback from Carlson faculty. And as I mentioned, our industry partners, the, the group of fabulous executives and residents and the National Industry Council members that we have. So what are our objectives? Um, our objectives with the business of healthcare minor is really far foremost, we want to provide a deeper knowledge of the institutions and the regulations and marketplace in healthcare, as I mentioned, very complex, where business policy and social issues always intersect in healthcare. And it's really difficult to separate them out, especially going forward. This is a very interdependent industry really requires an interdisciplinary and interdependent look. So we can't solve it just with the business uh, ideas, though business ideas have to be grounded in the knowledge of those institutions and the regulations and how they work. Um, we want to create opportunities through this minor to engage um, for our students engage with local business healthcare, healthcare businesses and healthcare provider landscape, investment, healthcare investment, payers, insurance companies, both public and private, as well as medical technology sectors. And, and we believe that this approach through the minor 
will improve the recruitment of uh, Carlson undergraduate students and healthcare firms, both in our region, which is, as you know, is a very active region, as well as nationally and globally. Um, we believe that the minor and the, the content knowledge or the, the, the engagement through the minor, both with Millie as well as our graduate students and our alumni and our industry partners, will really help the students be better positioned in their very first jobs in healthcare firms because they will already start those jobs with this knowledge and the vocabulary around this complex and fast growing industry. And, and of course, uh, through uh, this minor, we provide an opportunity to have a set of elective courses uh, for the, the students that will complement their coursework in their actual Carlson major. And um, we selected the courses that go into minor, the elective courses, in very deep cooperation with each department uh, and several faculty in each department are working closely with undergraduate students as well as the Carlson undergraduate program. And our key criteria for putting down courses and then the minor in the electives, elective courses were, will this course help the student, will this disciplinary course um, help the student in understanding healthcare markets and in executing some of the business uh, opportunities in the healthcare markets uh, easier. So that was sort of our criteria. Um, as I mentioned, we worked a lot with recruiters and other industry partners in designing. And so several um, aspects that we noticed that really highlighted the need and the demand of the industry for this minor was first, we know that the Twin Cities is a major healthcare hub. Uh, over 750 uh, medical device and health life science companies are actually headquartered in our backyard. Um, and also, if you look at Minnesota statistics, healthcare and manufacturing are the top two industries and the largest growing sectors by employment. I believe healthcare grows about 14% every year. Well, now post COVID, I don't know how everything will be, but that there will always be need for healthcare demand. Uh, pre or post COVID is my own personal projection. Um, other highlights about the industry um, in Minnesota, Minnesota actually consistently ranks as top in per capita patents in medical technology and, and as well as uh, an innovator in uh, all the, I think, I believe the top uh, uh, approvals through the FDA in medical device go through Minnesota. So we find ourselves in a very fortunate location when we can actually go see and uh, be more less socially distant with each other. There are a lot of opportunities to visit different sites and companies just in very close drive from our own campus. Um, the other thing, as I mentioned, as I highlighted, there is a big need for students to understand this big picture of the healthcare ecosystem. And I call it ecosystem uh, because of that intertwined um, sectors that feed into it. As I said, you know, you, you cannot think about healthcare standalone as just from a pair perspective or, or from the perspective of, of a company that produces medical devices or just from the perspective of a company that produces um, distribution, distribution of uh, supplies and equipment or just the healthcare system like a hospital system, they're all strongly intertwined with each other, very different institutions, very strong institutions, and, and, and as well as um, the different types of actors and different types of incentives. Um, knowledge on the trends and implications is an important uh, component here as well. Sorry, my phone is ringing, I can't stop it. Um, understanding some of those fun foundational uh, worlds of a pair and how it interacts with the provider, how the regulatory bodies interact with each uh, and just the life sciences companies are working with each of the <laughs> these comp components is, is really important. And of course, data is always data and you can never beat data. So knowing uh, the data analytics and the data that goes into this industry and, and how data from these different sectors feed into business models and strategic decision-making is really important. And 
I saw two examples of the data, the clinical data, claims data. Their clinical data, for example, comes from the provider side, from the healthcare systems. Claims data comes from the payers. And understanding how these two different types of data sets work together is really important and to be able to work with them. I'm very sorry about my phone. I hope it's not distracting too much and you can still hear me. Can you raise thumbs up if you can still hear me, Nate or Brooke? Okay, <laughs> I can see you guys. All right. Um, and as I mentioned, all of this knowledge of the complex system and how healthcare really works will be a key advantage for our business of healthcare minor students in, in, and will give them a competitive hiring advantage. That because the students will be able to talk high level about not just any business, but a business that is specific to this industry. And, and employers from our anecdotal conversations with them as we designed it basically say, well, you know, when you hire a student to the job, um, you need at least six months in a, in a sector like healthcare to get them up to speed in the knowledge and the institution. So if a student is coming in with that uh, advantage on their back, they, they can really focus directly on their marketing job or their finance job. And so we don't have to reteach them um, uh, from scratch how the industry works. We can focus on how our organization works, how our organization fits into the entire ecosystem. And that's a huge plus and a time save, both from the student's perspective as well as the employer's. And these are some of the examples, uh, by no means ex exclusive of the companies that we have in our backyard. And um, our undergraduate minor is structured in a way that um, we wanted the core domain knowledge, uh, which is a six credit knowledge, uh, which has the two courses, MILI 3585 uh, and MILI 3589. The first course is like a survey course of the industry, the marketplace and how it works and these components around how does economics play with the social issues or the, the policy lens, the regulatory lens. And then the second is much more focused on medical technology and how medical technologies have played a role in our society and vice versa, as well as uh, thinking about really analytic skills down to how do we evaluate medical technologies from a pair perspective how do we evaluate medical technologies from a, um, a, a state perspective or a societal perspective? And if we have a new drug or a new device, how do we compare it to a comparator uh, device? And we really go deep into some of these um, cost-effectiveness analyses, cost-benefit analyses, which are important analytic tools for students. And finally, the analytics component of the, the core minor is uh, working with claims data is what we will emphasize in this class. And students will be able to work with actual claims data and, and build on some of the, the typical programming languages that uh, healthcare folks use through R, Python. I personally favor Stata as an economist, but these courses will be more using some of these other programming per, uh, packages. And then finally, the breadth component, where we open it up to uh, different disciplines at Carlson, as I mentioned, with the criteria that these courses were selected and included with the idea that they are actually very relevant to healthcare industry and will help the core skill set that the course provides, will help the student um, build um, skill set that will directly apply to solving a healthcare business problem. So I will stop there and mute and you will be free of my uh, phone, I'm sorry. And I will give it to Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. All right, thanks, Benar. Um, so I'll start off with an introduction of myself. Um, my name is Brooke Wiegert. I'm just wrapping up my sophomore year at Carlson. I'm majoring in entrepreneurial management as well as pursuing the minor for business of healthcare as well as minors in business law and psychology. Um, so I'm here today to talk about a new group on campus that is tied with the healthcare minor as well as the Millie program. Um, the new group is called Millie U, so it stands for Medical Industry Leadership Institute Undergraduates. Um, a little background about how this group got started. Last spring, I was able to take the first undergraduate course offering for undergraduates, the Millie 3589, which I highly recommend. 
Um, and through taking that, I knew Pinar was in the works of getting a minor started. Um, so then this fall, I reached out to her and she was looking for ways to engage undergrads. So we had a really good conversation um, and basically came away with how great an undergrad group would be um, for Millie. There was already the group at the grad level, so it kind of made sense to have one at the undergrad level as well. Um, so shortly after that, we received approval through student union and activities. And then more recently, we were able to pitch to business board and receive Carlson affiliation. So that was exciting. Um, I think a few of my officers are tuned in. So huge thank you to them for all the progress we've made. Um, now moving forward, our primary goal is to just engage undergrads and set them up for a successful career within the healthcare industry. Um, examples of what that might look like is bringing in speakers from the industry to talk about their experience, um, hopefully host, uh, hosting uh, recruiting events with recruiters during recruiting season, um, as well as just having a platform where students can come together, make connections, and also stay up to date on happenings with the industry. Um, as far as our plans for fall, that's kind of up in the air. Um, if we are back on campus, definitely in-person events and participating in student org fairs and all that fun stuff. Um, if we're online, that's definitely, I think, less than ideal for a lot of student groups, um, especially ones starting out. But I think my officer team and I are confident that we can leverage some of Millie's connections and hopefully provide some online events. Um, the link on the screen, there's more information about our group out on GopherLink. Um, I think our email is also out there if you have any questions or think we should look into something, um, feel free to email us. It's just milliu at umn.edu. Um, I should also mention that our current officer team is six people. Um, however, three of those are going to be rising seniors, so by next spring they'll be leaving us already. Um, but what that does mean is that there will be opportunities for other students to fill those. So lots of room for growth and opportunity. I know we're all really excited with how far we came and we're also looking forward to where we'll go. Um, so with that, I'll hand it over to Nathan to talk about the graduate group. Awesome. Thanks, Brooke. Uh, I'll keep this pretty brief. I know we want to have a little bit of time for questions, but uh, as Pinar had mentioned, I am a first year MBA candidate and the president of Melissa, so Millie's Student Association for the MBA cohort. Um, my background in undergrad was in finance. I went to Marquette University in Milwaukee. And then I've got some professional experience in product and portfolio management for a financial services firm and investment bank, and then also human centered design consulting for medical devices. So I was primarily working with a startup called Histosonics in Minneapolis, and they were doing robotically assisted sonic therapy for cancer treatment. So that really spurred my interest in med device and the overall startup landscape um, made me want to go get back and get my MBA and kind of hone my skills in marketing and strategy. So that's those are the types of classes I'm taking at Carlson along with Millie classes um, and involved in the brand enterprise and a couple other volunteer projects as well. So um, the big goals of Melissa for us, we really want to develop and promote a network of professionals that are linked across the entire healthcare spectrum, like Bernard mentioned. So not just med device, not just pharmaceuticals, not just pair provider, but really across the entire landscape. Um, and we really want to create opportunities for success for our students uh, who want to transition into healthcare or already in healthcare. So I think we do that through three main pillars of exposure, engagement, and preparation. Um, on the exposure front, we really try to bring in panelists and presentations through uh, Millie's network of professionals that either have relationships with Carlson or are alumni of the program. Um, through engagement, we do networking events and different site visits to really immerse our students in uh, the healthcare environment and, and see what kind of opportunities exist out there. And then in terms of preparation, we um, prepare our students for interviews, for internships at the graduate level, and then also networking tactics to kind of connect with our alumni through Carlson and different relationships uh, with the school. So it's a, it's a great organization. I'd love to collaborate more with Millie U over the next year or so. And we're kind of, we're in initial talks of how we want to do that. And uh, with that, I'll open up for questions. Yeah, thank you so much both Brooke and Nate for, for your presentation. It's always when I, whenever I think about and talk about when I first started as the academic director of Millie um, in 2017, I say it was the Melissa and the Millie affiliates then. That was just so strong, the 
support that we received, that I received as the academic director and the network that they kind of embraced. And it was, it was incredible. I was very impressed and I remain being so impressed with all the work that those two groups do. And I'm confident, Millie, you will be no different. So thank you. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so I could see if there are any questions. Um, if there are any questions, please let us know. I don't personally see questions, um, but as, as Brooke said, their link is, um, and both Melissa's and Millie Yu's links are on the slides and, and, and as well as um, my email is listed there too. So if anyone has any questions, please don't um, hesitate to reach to any one of us and, and we'll be, we'll answer and we'll make this, uh, make the slides available. Uh, Kim, if you could confirm on Millie's website, so if you wanted to take a look later. Yes, I can add, I'll add the recording of the webinar as well, along with the, um, PowerPoint slides. So if you Perfect. Can those later, it'd be great. Excellent. Well, in that case, well, thank you so much for joining us. And, um, and I, I thank both Nate and Brooke again and, and Kim for organizing this meeting. Thank you. Have a very good day. And this is a great news that we have in, in the events that we're living. And, and I'm very grateful for that. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everyone.